Finite and Infinite Games is about the collaborative process. It is about a game between collaborators. So you have a fashion designer in Rome feeding into a painter working in New York City, um, working and creating with a choreographer. And a filmmaker comes in and captures all of this craziness and this dance. I've been dancing for Lucinda Childs. She has been hailed as one of the grand dames of American modern dance. And I've been really inspired by her work, specifically the large-scale collaborative project she's uh, done. When I uh, got a flyer from Bard College uh, saying that Lucinda Childs' uh, dance would be there uh, and solely Witt did the uh, film for it, uh, and Philip Glass the music, it was yeah, I, I took that four and a half hour drive into the middle of nowhere just to watch it. I met our executive producer, Michael Robinson, at a gala for Lucinda. I had performed that evening and I was seated next to him. And we realized that we had a unique conversation going between us and decided to embark upon a project together. I love dance because I love the movement. I love the dancers. I saw on my bookshelf, uh, Finite and Infinite Games, a philosophical text by James P. Cars. When I got a message from Kate, I was astonished. I thought, mm, that's really novel. And to, to uh, think of a book that's fairly abstract and, and not exactly technical, but very, uh, how shall I say, very intellectual, translated into physical movement. Uh, was a, a bit of a surprise to me and a great pleasure, I do have to say. I felt most honored. For me, games was really about uh, a single individual character, the main character, kind of growing from uh, isolation to, to kind of connectedness. It's about, I, it's about having fun and continuing uh, to have fun uh, instead of uh, winning or losing. It's an analysis of what is happening in a game as you play it. When you get a dynamic powerhouse of people together, you, if you can manage the emotions and you can manage the, the differences and the editing process between each other, it's, you just get so much more out of it. Things start to really catalyze. Finley's been living and working in Rome for the past few years, and there she met Guy Mattiolo and his partner Attilio, who are fashion designers in Rome. They offered their fashions to our project, and it really lifted up the project. And when I saw the first jump you did with that dress, with the thing, the empty one, it was, wow, amazing, amazing, no? The dress uh, uh, that Kate wore in the movie is, um, is like the kinetic art of Calder because it's, uh, it's not suspended. It's suspended. It's not yeah. on a fabric under, but is is directly on the skin of the people. So that is uh, something very different. Yeah, like you need the, the skin yeah. to see the dress. Yeah. If not, it doesn't exist. Without the, the person inside, you see nothing. Yeah. RJ is really one of the world's preeminent dance photographers. Um, I was just blown away when I shot with him, his demeanor, and then when I saw the images after shooting with him, I just thought, wow. I knew that I'd always wanted to work with RJ, and when this opportunity arose, he was the first person I thought of. I think what draws me to a project always is a good idea. If there's a great idea behind it, if there's a concept, if there's something you can really wrap your arms around and say, this, this has a lot of potential to build on, to go into, to uh, intrigue and do all of the other things 
that a good idea can give you. Uh, that's the main thing. What drew me to do this film was, for one, I hadn't seen Kate in a long time, and, and I missed her. And when I heard that she was doing this project, I thought it would be really fun, because Kate and I toured together a long time ago, and, and we were really tight. Kate was always trying to get me to, to be really square and really grounded and, and punchy sometimes, and then really let go and start into these kind of you know, whirlwind phrases of, of movement. And so I was just try, always drawing connections between um, moments in the pieces and making up stories. And I tried to use uh, Kate's movement quality and my movement quality and uh, kind of creating things from, from uh, in the stock pot. And it ended up really nice. Uh, the choreography in this film is really unique to me because Kate has a really amazing way of making it technical, really challenging, and she allows a splash of an individual's own style in everything. We put it all together. We played in the studio. We um, spent hours looking at books and talking about music. And then finally, Finite and Infinite Games just appeared. Actually, the beginning was um, someone believed in us. And then what happened after that was this fast and furious, glorious, beautiful, painful, wonderful, emotional, cathartic ride. I think we went way above the film we initially conceived. With our clothing, I had such a big emotion that my tears come out of my eyes. I think everybody's effort was phenomenal. Uh, everybody put in 100%. It was like a synergistic effort between RJ capturing elements of my choreography that I could have never even envisioned through shifting perspectives, to Finley painting this massive, you know, wall of riotous color and action that supported and uplifted the dancers. Guy Natilio's sophisticated, gorgeous fashions lending, you know, an element of really high class to the film. Um, Mike believing in the project and funding this incredible art project, uh, which never happens, never. And, um, and then the dancers, the dancers, the best dancers in New York City coming together to work for me, who is really nobody, and um, giving me their hearts uh, on a platter and giving their hearts to the audience. Everybody gave it their all and it worked.